All right, guys, I wanted to make this video talking about uh, if I should upgrade or not and what you guys think. I know a lot of you guys that have charges out there probably thinking the same thing. And um, and now with used car prices being up 30%, um, now I, I just think that, you know, it's a good time. I might be able to get out of the charger. Uh, you know, I'm upside down on it just from putting crazy miles on it, uh, you know, from having a business and, and using it for that purpose, from driving from Florida to Pennsylvania, Delaware, uh, uh, to Philadelphia and back. So, uh, so I, I ran the miles up. And, um, you know, I'm a little bit upside down on it, but right now the offers that I'm getting for the car, I'm able to walk away, um, you know, and walk away with a little cash in my pocket. So I've just been thinking to myself, man, you know, should I get rid of this car? Uh, especially now with, you know, with the drive shaft issue and this nonsense and that, you know, we can't find a part uh, because of COVID and, and it's super expensive and all this. Uh, I'm thinking to myself, should I just get rid of the car, take the money and then just go get a wide body scat? Um, or wait for the new body. Now, I know uh, that Dodge just revealed that they're keeping this vehicle the same uh, for the next couple of years. But to me, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I, I wanna know, you know, what you guys think, because I'm sure some of you guys have the same, you know, thought process, but I'm looking at it here. This is a vehicle, this has been the same body style since really, I mean, yeah, they did a refresh in 2015, but this is essentially the same vehicle from 2011. It's 2021. Um, I mean, it's just, it's an old platform. I mean, the actual underpinnings of the car are the same really from the first gen, um, you know, back in, from 2006 to 2010. So, you know, I, I just, I, I don't wanna go, and especially now with the car prices being high, and that's another thing. I was thinking to myself, should I wait until the prices come down? If they come down, we don't know if this is gonna be the new norm uh, with, with the price of vehicles just being crazy. Um, or, you know, let's say for example, I say, all right, you know what, I'll wait for a few months to get the car. Uh, maybe I get the car by the end of the year if I wait. Uh, but then, you know, two years down the line, you know, they're gonna announce this new vehicle. And now, you know, I just signed up for this vehicle for five years or whatever the case may be, if I'm not leasing, uh, which is something I may look into leasing, but with the type of mileage I put on the car, you know, I just don't know. So, you know, I sometimes I really like the scat, the wide body's crazy. But at the same time, it's like, it's buying the same car over again. I know a lot of people done it. And if any of you have done it, I would love for you to jump in the comment box. And let me know what you think or what your thought process was about buying um, the same car over again and, and not really knowing, you know, when the new body style is coming out, if it's coming out or whatever the case may be. It was just something that was on my mind. Like I said, this platform has been, a, it's been out for a while. And there's, there's some other cool cars that, you know, I'm kind of interested in, but I, I love, I love Dodge. I love Mopar. Uh, I love the SRTs. Uh, at the RTs, I mean, all of them. I, I think that they make a great product, uh, giving a nod back to the muscle cars of the past. Uh, but, you know, this is a situation where I got an opportunity to get out of the RT um, and, and step into, you know, an SRT or a SCAT. Um, I'm not, the Hellcat's not really my thing. I think that you can have more than enough fun with the SCAT. Um, but with the way the prices are, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's, you're almost paying Hellcat money for a SCAT now. So, you know, it's, I mean, that may be an option as well. But, uh, but, Jump in the comment box. Let me know what you guys think or if you guys have any experience with this because I, you know, I'm over here scratching my head. Mm, should I upgrade? Uh, should I wait? But, uh, you know, maybe they might drop something real hot, something that we don't know about. Uh, maybe something comes out next year. Who knows? But uh, but get in the comment box and let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Just scratching my head here thinking about this. But uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, like I said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.